Hi guys. It is a lovely but a little bit chilly spring evening here in the end times here at the end of the dirt road in the uh, Point Lonesome Swamp here on uh, what is it? Is it Monday night, March 8, 2021? And I'm actually somewhat surprised to send out this big thank you note to uh, Sister Sandy from Environmental Coffee House. Now, I don't think that I'm stealing Sandy's video. I, I guess she sent me this <clears throat> from good old AARP <clears throat> just for my own edification. I'm sure she knew I was going to make a rant out of this. Now, this isn't anything <clears throat> that, that's new particularly. Actually, this is from, uh, <clears throat> this information is about three or four months old. Looking by age at the number of cases versus the number of deaths of, uh, you know, from corona panic. So there were a lot less people who had, actually died of this uh, uh, of, of this bogeyman when this came out but I'm assuming for all intents and purposes that the the the, the graphs would still look pretty much the same I don't know why they would be much different now than they were in October I mean we we've had, more cases and more deaths, obviously, but I'm assuming, I'm just putting the asterisk that I am making the assumption that these two, that this chart would look pretty much the same. And I'm sending this out to any fucking clueless, panic-ridden sheeple still supporting the closure of schools and making little kids wear masks. Okay, we're going to uh, we're we're going to start with little kids here. Okay, this is I'm assuming this is from the CDC uh, would be my guess. Uh, breaking down cases versus deaths, and and and, and I, I'm. I'm uh, okay, I, I'm just going to stick with this. I, I, I can't do uh, a, a goddamn corona panic uh, rant without getting into all of these side rants. We're, ju we're just going to stick to what's in front of us here. Okay. Under 18. Okay, so from birth through the end of age 7 through the end of high school... About 9.9%, we're going to call this 10%, 10% of the corona panic cases are for people birth through high school. So anybody who thinks that 10% of the deaths of corona panic, how about 0.2%? 0.2% of deaths that are attributed to corona panic. Of course, there is no mention of any other contributing causes uh, that might have made the 0.2% of supposed corona panic deaths for, uh, for kids under the age of 18. You know, uh, unfucking believable I, I have to admit, guys, e even I was surprised uh, by, by this number. 0.2%. We have thrown millions and millions and millions of American school kids, and, you know, j just into depression uh, suicide, drug use, failing grades, uh, just completely fucking ripped apart the lives of, uh, uh, of any uh, body on this planet uh, from, the, from birth through the age of 18. You know, why 
anybody needs to go any further than this w without the, the slamming the fucking bullshit detected button on uh, on continuing to keep schools closed, or if they do let the kids back, you know, making these kids wear these fucking masks and stay six feet apart. All of this fucking bullshit. Zero point two percent of corona panic deaths uh, from this. Uh, you know, for the this is this is unbelievable. Okay, we're now going to jump to the 18 to 29, uh, which is 23.9%. Let's call it 24% of the cases. 24% of people who have gotten corona panic, and I'm sure this is official cases that do not factor in uh, asymptomatic people who never made it into the statistic. So anyway, I, I, but not even uh, factoring in that inconvenient to truth, uh, assuming 24% of the uh, of the cases, 18 to 29 year olds, how about instead of 24% dying of it, how about 0.5%? 0.5. So now we're up to the age of 30, and already 34%, over one-third of the uh, population of the U.S., over one-third of the cases, 34% of the cases, people under 30, we are now up to a whopping 0.7% of corona panic deaths for uh, people under 30. We're now going to jump to the 30-somethings. Okay, 30 to 39-year-olds, 16.5% of the cases and 1.3% of the deaths, and my guess is most of them were the 38 and 39 year olds. Okay, so we are now 30, pretty much exactly at 50% of the cases. 24, no, I'm sorry, 40, 40% of the cases. So 40% of the cases of corona panic. Uh, and we are up to 2% of the deaths. For under the age of 40, 2% of the deaths. Now let's jump up to the ripe old age of 50. Okay, the 40-somethings. I'm actually surprised by this, that a smaller number of 40-somethings uh, supposedly got corona panic than 30-somethings. Uh, anyway, I'm not sure what that statistical blip is about, but it's 15.2% of 40-somethings. Uh, you know, 40-somethings make up 15.2% of the official count, and the 40-somethings, 3.1%. Okay, so now at age 50, we're right at, well, where are we? 24 for 55% of the cases, and we are at about 5% of the deaths. Uh, let's see, four point, yeah. 5%, 5.1%. So what we're seeing here, and uh, this was the title of the article, that under the age of 50, under the age of 50, that 5% of the deaths uh, of, this, uh, of this thing for people under the age of 50, which of course means that 95% of people dying of this are 
old farts. 95%. Okay, let's just finish this out. So here is where uh, it's, in, it's in the 50s where the line starts evening up. So we have 20.5% of the cases, 15.3% of the deaths. And for some reason, I don't know why they go, instead of doing 50 to 59, they go to 50 to age 50 to 64. I don't know why the 50-somethings get an extra five years. I mean, cause I'm in that. I have no fucking idea why the CDC or whoever does this gives the 50-somethings an extra five years of life. But 50 to 64-year-old, four-year-olds, which would include me, 20 and a half percent of the cases, 15.3 percent of the uh, of the deaths. So now, so 20 percent, 20 percent of people who have died of corona panic have been younger than 65, meaning 80 percent. 80% of people dying of this shit have been over the age of 65, well, over the age of 64, 65 or older. And this is where, of course, the, uh, where the, uh, you know, the, the, the line, the chart uh, completely goes, uh, goes opposite. So the 65 to 74-year-olds, 7.6% of cases, but 21% of, of deaths. So uh, the, the, the case-to-death ratio, 7.6 to 21%. Then we reach 75 to 84, where... We drop from 7.6 to 4.3, but the deaths rise from 26.6%. And I might want to throw in here that the average lifespan of an American is 78 years. So it is in here, uh, in this 26.6%, that, uh, you know, where the, where the person should have been dead anyway. And then we finally get to the 85 and older. 85 and older, only 2.9% of cases, mainly because uh, there's not that many 85-year-olds uh, around to get corona panic. 85 and older... 32.1% of cases, 32% of uh, so the, roughly a third of that 500,000, uh, 85 years or older. Uh, they should have been dead seven years ago. Uh, so... I wish they had broke it off at the at 78 instead of 75. 32 plus 26 is so we'll call it pretty much 60 percent. 60 percent of uh, the people dead of Corona panic over uh, 75 or older. So roughly the lifespan. Uh, over 50% uh, of the deaths here are for the, the sick old farts uh, that should have been dead anyway. Uh, you know, it's called thinning the herd. I, uh, you know, I was reading this article uh, a few days ago saying they are estimating somewhere... What was it? Uh, how many people that have died of corona panic uh, have had dementia? 
I, it, there is somewhere the estimates run between like 32 and 40,000 uh, people who died of corona panic never knew they had it because they didn't know what fucking planet they were on. It was called a mercy killing. Uh, corona panic is a mercy killing for, for any, uh, you know, Alzheimer's addled, demented uh, old lunatic in, in a fucking nursing home. Uh, my God, if, uh, if they ever threw me in one of those places, I would be absolutely begging to get goddamn Corona Panic. For God's sake, give me, uh, give me fucking Corona Panic. Get me the fuck out of here. You know, these people, all, all this shit about these nursing homes, uh, the, the very thought of a nursing home... Uh, my God, anything we can do to, uh, get those people out of those nursing homes. Uh, fucking nursing home is not a club med, all right? It's a one-way ticket. Anyway, but, but this one really, when, when I see, uh, 0.2% of deaths... Uh, so 500,000, you know, where is my, uh, how many decimal points, uh, 0 0.2 of 500,000, is that, good God, how many places do you have to take the decimal point? I, I can't take the decimal point enough places. Uh, it's, it's either 0 0.2 a percent of 500,000, is it a hundred, is it a thousand, or is it 10,000? I think it's probably a, a thousand. We're going to go over to percentage calculator since I am too stupid. Uh, you know, I, I am a, uh, I have Alzheimer's. I'm a deluded old fart. Uh, 0.2, where? The fuck is... Oh, here's my percentage calculator. Alright. 0 0.2 0 0.2 is what percent of... Alright. Uh... Okay, guys, I am having... What am I doing? Uh, good God, you see, I am certainly a, a, a prime example of someone suffering from Alzheimer's. The question, Hambone, is not uh, what percent. Uh, it's 500,000 times 0 0.2. And since I cannot do the uh, math in my head, 500,000 times 0 0.2, would somebody tell me whether that's 100, 1,000, or 10,000 people in this country? I'm pretty sure it's 1,000, uh, 1,000 uh, people under the age of 18, and that does not include pre-existing conditions. In that figure, I, I am, I am, just, I am so fucking sick and tired of this. I, 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 I am just so fucking sick and tired of it, guys. Anyway, uh, I need to get back to Netflix. Jesus, look at my San Pedro cactus. My San Pedro cactus is. Getting quite the hard on. I bought this for three dollars at uh, at Walmart about six weeks ago, and it has doubled in size. Uh, I could have quite the trip on that San Pedro cactus. Maybe that's what I need to go do. What do you think, little dog? Bye, guys.